Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna kind of show you guys like when I started music production, there was like, a, like obviously I'm doing it in GarageBand because I'm starting and I just got a Mac, like an iMac, so I'm not gonna be able to afford a Logic or Ableton or anything like that straight away. So what I'm gonna do now is like, I never knew this kind of like hints and tricks like starting off. So this is probably a big one for people that want to start like production, which is key mapping. And you can never really do that with a MIDI keyboard in GarageBand. And I could never find any video on how to do it. And then all of a sudden, one day I came across it. Well, actually, I saw one video, but it was in the middle of like a deep tutorial for like like a lo-fi beat tutorial. And I was like, this is not easy, except for like nobody knows how to do this. So we're just going to hop on here and I'm going to show you how to do it like real quick, real basic. And then I hope you just find helpful because obviously this helped me when I started. So let's hop in. So we're gonna hop on in to here. So what you're gonna do is click the MIDI keyboard. You're gonna click like a drum kit or anything. It doesn't really matter if you're putting your own sounds in. You're gonna go plugins. You should see the one at the top of it. It should say drum kit automatically. You're gonna click that. You're gonna click AU instruments. You can click Apple. You're gonna click AU sampler. Now I already have one pre-made. And I'll show you how to add in your own ones as well. So layer, you have your own layers and you have all of these, all of these here. So, so say if I went, you're going to go to key mapping. You're going to click on this site. So when you have them, so if you have your MIDI keyboard, you should be able to find the spots on the keyboard, like where to play them and stuff like that. And then, um, so they should come up, so if you can listen. So simple as, right? But to add them in, they, it's, it's real finicky. So if I'm gonna add a new one, right? No. So if you click choose file, I have mine on my downloads kit this is just a quick when i download it off the internet so you just pick one right so sure right so you're gonna click open now when i don't know why it does this and it really annoys me and i don't think a lot of people use this and i think that's why they were really lazy about it but it's just gonna cover the whole keyboard you can kind of hear it it's just because it goes in keys The more you go up, the more it says normal. So C2. So here are my other ones. So what you're gonna do is see it says it should say key range right here. And you find one that's empty. So this one right here is empty, so. That is my G, G4, I think. So I put in, so you just go to your keyboard and click G4. Then it all goes all the way to G4. And then usually if you do want to move it, you just, you just put it down to one key first and then you can actually move it around like that. So now I have another one. And what you want to do now is turn off track pitch, tracks pitch, because that hires it up and down and it makes it really difficult. Like it goes do 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 do. Well, if you want to do that with like a, a low fi low beat to actually make it sound like a piano because it goes boom, boom, boom. You could do that, but I don't do that because I want to use it as a MIDI keyboard. There it is. That's the one we added in. And that's as easy as it gets. And I could never find one of these videos online. So that's why I made it because obviously I'm only beginning in like sound production. So what I'm learning, I'm going to share with you guys a bit. And I know my channel's a music channel, but I can always help people and stuff like that. And that's what I want to get into. And I figured if I ever don't know something, I could just ask you guys and you get back to me. So it makes it easier to have people help you along the way. And now. Simple as.
and I think it gets easier because I actually also have FL Studios and I know that has key mapping and it's so much easier but a lot of you guys are going to be setting off a garage band and I know there's people online that teach garage band tutorials and it's great it obviously is great and to be honest I've compared it to like the likes of like logic it's, it's basically the same just without a lot more plugins and it's a bit more like there's a mixer and it's what it's up as well so it's great so anyway if you enjoyed this quick little video tutorial like subscribe comment any questions i'll get back to you obviously if you leave them in the description so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial or song video or whatever i post next